and welcome to Sarah Stamper Retreat. Today I'm going to be using this Blooming Delight bundle from Altenew and I'm going to be trying some kind of rainbow inking and normally when I use these kind of things with the stent layered stencils I go from light colour to bold colour but this time I thought I'd try using completely different colours and we'll see what we come up with. So here we've got this huge stamp set, the die to cut it out and you also get some sentiments within the die set as well and then the layering stencil so we'll be using all of those today so I've got a five by seven piece of cardstock and you can see that this flower almost fills that cardstock and I'm going to ink this up with my embossing ink I'm going to go over again because it's such a big stamp and I don't want to miss any Then I'm using the Wow Polish Gold Super Fine Embossing Powder. So then I'm going to start using my stencils to do some inking, and the stencils are numbered so you know which one to go first. So this one's number one. I'm just going to hold that in place with a little bit of tape. And even though I'm going to go for a variety of different colours, I'm still going to use the lighter shade first. So I'm going to grab this yellow, so this is the Altenew Maple Yellow. So I think I'm going to do like yellows, orange, pinks up here because we don't want anything that's going to contrast so badly that it's going to turn out all brown and mushy. And then down here, I think I'll do kind of red, purple, blue. So I'm going to go in with crimson first down here. So then we're going to switch to number two and at the top we're going to go with Autumn Blaze, so a nice like strong orange colour. And then at the bottom I'm going for Deep Iris. So this is quite fun now that we're starting to get all those colours coming through. And then for this layer I'm going to go with this Crystal Violet at the bottom. And now I'm going with this Rubellite at the top. So for each set of colours I've chosen ones that are of a similar vibrancy and also ones that when they're mixed aren't going to kind of make brown sludgy colours so they're all in similar colour families I actually think that looks really fun so then I think I'm going to bring some of these colours to the centres of here and these colours to the centres of here so that I can kind of tie the two together so I'm going to go with the deep iris in the centre and then I'm going to layer over that with the crystal violet and then in the centre of here I'm going to go with the maple yellow and I'll just layer over with this autumn blaze. I think those look really fun now. So then for the leaves I think we've had enough crazy colours we're just going to go with greens. So I'm going to go in with the eucalyptus first. And then I'm going to go in with the forest fern. So now I get that this is a bit wild and it's not going to be everyone's cup of tea, but I absolutely love that. It's so fun. So I'm going to die cut it with a coordinating die. So I'm going to grab some scrap paper and I want to use this navy blue card blank. So to make it tie in with the flower, I'm going to just go around the outside of here with this Winter Lake artist marker. So I'm losing my head a bit today and I forgot to press play. So I've, all I've done is just heat emboss that happy birthday sentiment on there. And that's in the same gold we used for the big flower. And then I'm just adding some foam pads behind that flower now that we have finished the blue outline. And then I positioned the sentiment so that it would go between these leaves here. I'm going to put that on like that. And then I can trim this excess off the back. And so then we've got this super fun card with all those colours on. And I really love how that turned out. So thank you so much for joining me today. If you enjoyed today's video, I'd really appreciate you clicking like below. 
and you can also press subscribe if you'd like to see future videos. If you press the bell button and select all, then YouTube will also notify you when I've got a new video available. All of the products that I've used for today's card are listed in the description below. And there's also a link there to my blog where you can find a picture supply list if that helps you find what you're looking for. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope to see you again soon.